What's going on YouTube? Jeans here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be continuing our regulation F tear on the rank ladder where today we're featuring an Archaludon ranked team. Now Archaludon is a top tier Pokemon when it comes to regulation F and it is just so strong and bulky all around. It's got stamina as its ability, so every time it takes a hit, it is going to go plus one on defense. It's also rocking the Assault Vest to help it out on the special defense side. Both of these make this Pokemon super bulky and a pain to actually KO. It has great moves set of Flash Cannon, Electro Shot, Draco Meteor, and Body Press. Now this Pokemon Archaludon right here can be played in two different ways. The first way is the stamina build. You let physical attackers hit it, you allow its defense to go up, and then you're super bulky and on top of that doing crazy amounts of damage with Body Press because that move relies on how much defense you have. So there's more damage, the more defense you have. So the more defense boost you are, it's just gonna keep doing more damage. The second way you can play Archaludon is going to be in the rain. You set up the rain with our Thunderous, who has Prankster and Rain Dance, and then from there you can start using Electro Shot. Electro Shot is a two turn move, but in the first turn while it charges up, it allows you to go plus one on special attack. But when using it in rain, it only takes one turn and you automatically get that special attack boost. So you can just start stacking up your special attack and doing big time damage on this Pokemon. The team also features a bunch of other meta Pokemon. You got Urshfu to pair up with the rain. You got Incineroar and Robo for fake out. And then last but not least, you got Life Orb Landers, who is top tier in Regulation F. It's got Sheer Force and then an amazing move set of Protect, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, and Sand Seer Storm with that Poison Terror type to get a nice little damage boost from Sludge Bomb. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? The rental hood is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with Archer Ludon. We're a couple videos into Regulation F, and we are still killing it. 13 4 on the rank ladder. Let's hope to keep our win streak going. Let's keep thriving out here with these ranked squads. But we're hopping into our first match, and who are we going up against? We're going up against, oh, a Latios team with Glamora, Annihilate, oh, I hate. I hate going up against Annihilates, and then they also have Tornadus, Sinistra, and Chiyu. So now, who should I lead, and how should I go get after this? I doubt they have Sunny Day. Actually, they might have Sunny Day, now that I look at it. But I have Sunny Day with Chiyu, so maybe we just want to go into, like, Archaludon. Alongside with Thunderous. We could, we could, but they might want to lead Tornadus to kind of get after it that way, which would be a little bit of an issue for us. So maybe, just maybe, we lead, like, Landorus alongside with someone else well this is tough this is tough but you know what i am gonna go arch loot on i like arch loot on all around so i'm gonna go arch loot on here and i'm gonna end up leading it with thunderous i really like it if they go into special attackers so we can always carry impulse we can slow down pokemon we got a lot of different options so going into both of these pokemon is not gonna be bad for us so in the back end i am going to bring urshifu and last but not least we go rillaboom incineroar or landorus and i'm kind of leaning towards landorus just for a bit more damage on this squad so yeah, we're going to lock it in. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Over 50% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if that's one of you guys, definitely scroll down a little bit and consider clicking that subscribe button. It really does go a long way. Plus, if you guys want to support me extra, I got memberships and donation link down below. Not asking you guys to do it, but it's greatly appreciated. The first match is here. And they're going to go into the Lottie Os. And Tornado. So I could set up the Rain Dance and just start throwing Electro Shots, right? That might be my best bet. Definitely might be my best bet. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We want that plus one on that special attack. We really want to get after it. So I'm going to pop the Rain Dance. And we're just going to start attacking. Now Latios, I don't really know what it does. I, I used to use it as support back in like Diamond and Pearl. And I think it was in Sword and Shield for a little bit. Yeah. And this Pokemon was more for special than anything. We end up hard swapping. And who are you gonna go into? Here? You're gonna go into Sinisha. So Sinisha comes out here and they set up a tailwind. So they set up a tailwind and we're able to set up this rain dance no problem. And get this free plus one special attack boost. And on top of that, throw a big time move into this tornado slot. Which I like. So we end up popping this. Lovely. <clears throat> lovely, lovely, lovely. Get that special attack boost, and I send it right there. So, is this gonna KO? It does. Beautiful. Yo, Archer Ludon, like I said, a huge threat in multiple different ways. So, we get a big time KO. Lecture shot is teen off here. Nice little lead for us. They do have Tailwind set up, but if they go into a special attacker, I'm just gonna eerie impulse it, right? They go into Annihilate. So, Annihilate comes out. That's where things get rather annoying, right? I could go for another Electro Shot, I could go for Flash Cannon. 
Could go for body press. I could actually paralyze these guys, you know? But I kind of just want to thrasalize you in the grass. And the reason I would rather thrasalize you in the grass is because I kind of just want to start attacking, right? And I don't want to take big time damage to fight him. So I'm going to thrasalize you in the grass. And on top of that, I'm just going to start thunder waving. Could go for Rage Powder, and honestly, Rage Powder will not affect us, so we might as well go for another Electro Shot here. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm just gonna Thunder Wave this uh, Sinistra. I'm just gonna Thunder Wave Sinistra. I'm just gonna start throwing Paralyzes left and right, just for chances of them not moving, and on top of that, slow them down, so kind of neutralizes their Tailwind. Ends up going for Drain Punch, and I thought I Terrasalized, but I guess I didn't. I guess I didn't. That kind of hurts the soul. I think when I went back to switch my move, I didn't hit Terrasalize. That would have been a big time turn for us. Would have definitely been a big time turn for us. So I go plus two on special attack now. I'm able to drop this lovely little move right here. And I do some big time damage, which we love. And Sinisha cannot move. So that's huge. That is huge. So now from here, I think we're still going to Terrasalize here. Just to go grass and to finish off you. And on top of that, we're just going to go for a Wild Bolt Storm. And honestly, we should do this instead. We should Terrasalize, switch this over to you, and then just Wild Bolt Storm because Drain Punch is not going to KO me being plus one and being not very, or neutral now, right? That's a smart turn for us to just have Wild Bolt Storm finish off the Nihilate and then Terrasalize the Arch Thief, which I wanted to do last turn, but I just did not do it. Well, I did do it, and then I switched my move and went for an Electro Shot because I realized if they go for Rage Powder, this will uh, neutralize it. So it's really good. We're really good here. So let's see what goes on here. Because for a drain punch, we soaked that all day long. And we should now be able to finish off these Pokemon. Should now be ready. Plus two on defense now. Oh my lord, yeah. This Pokemon's just such a huge threat. Wild Bolt Storm comes out here. Not very effective onto the Sinisha, but it does enough damage to finish off the Annihilate, who I was really worried about. And now this Flash Cannon slides over, being plus two. And what do you have? You have Red Card. Okay, that's actually good, because I would have rather him get swapped out than Archiludon. <laughs> but now I get to bring out Urshfu in the rain, which is perfect. And Flash Cannon should be able to do a huge chunk of damage. Maybe K.O.N., right? Yeah, yo, Archiludon's lighting it up. He's lighting it up. Get him on out of here. Sinisha, get on out of here. So now they go into their final Pokemon, and it's going to be that Latios who they sent out earlier. And I believe they just canceled battle, and it looks like we might just sweep here. Unless they just start attacking me, but Draco Meteor's gonna fly. We're gonna also double down with Surge Strikes, just in case he wants to Terrasalize. And that should be the game. Yep, battle was canceled. Sweeping with Archiludon in match number one. We stay red hot. Red hot on the regulation F ladder, now 14 and 4. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying these meta teams. I am gonna start using some off meta teams, but let me know in the comment section down below. Would you guys rather see off meta teams be played on the casual ladder and then i can save the meta teams for the rank ladder so i can keep my rank high or would you guys just rather see everything on the rank ladder let me know in the comment section down below it really doesn't matter for me i'd rather just make better content for you guys but just to let you guys know if i start using off meta teams we might start losing a bit we might start losing a bit more but we're hopping into our second match going up against it looks like a walking wake sun team right it looks like whimscott has sunny day it can pop it it can really get after it but something i'm more of afraid of is going to be the metagross shen pao and entei yeah east speed sucker punch and bullet punch all looking rather scary so in this case we might just want to set up arch salute on here turn one arch salute is not going to be terrible but i also like having incineroar here so i'm gonna go arch salute on and i'm also gonna go into incineroar or do i just set the rain or do I just set the rain here? I mean, I could bring in thunders just to kind of paralyze and set rain in case they want to go sunny day. But something I see them more so doing is just going into first turn priority Pokemon. So I think from here, we just go into uh, these two. Archiludon alongside with Incineroar, which I really like. Just intimidate turn one and start to get after it. And then in the back end, we could go into, I think Lando could be good. Same thing with Urshifu. Just great Pokemon all around. They can hit really hard. <clears throat> yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm scared of the E speed, right? E speed, I'm terrified of. Just terrified of that, especially with inner focus. It's just, oh, it's just a problem. It's just a problem all around. So we'll see. And they have clear body. Maybe intimidate wasn't a, isn't the right play here. 
I totally forgot, they just have so many Pokemon to neutralize and intimidate on this team. This one's gonna be tough. This one's gonna be tough. I feel like back in like regulation, I don't even know what it was. C, D, E, I don't even know. That uh, Shen Pao and Dragonite was just a huge start to me. But they end up going into both of these guys right here. And I don't mind it too much. Um, I could Terrasalize, probably not. I mean, I do get off this nice little Intimidate onto the Shen Pao, so that helps us out a little bit. And I think from here, we're just gonna go for we go flash cannon in here. We go body press. Um, no need to rasslize. He could just protect the Shen Pao, which is definitely a possibility. And I could just go for body press and Entei, which is probably the best bet. And I could also party shot, but I'm just going to knock off this thing's item. Just in case it's Bandit or anything else, I could see the Shen Pao protecting as well. Thinking that fake out's coming into the slot. So hopefully Shen Pao just protects her swaps because it is intimidated. And we're going to see a terror come out from Entei. Dante gets the terror type. He'll be going for Sacred Sword. He's just going to go into the normal terror type. And like I said, I think it's holding the life orb or the, the choice ban. That's why I want to go for a knockoff onto this thing. So Shen Pao does end up protecting, which is huge. Body press is now super effective onto that slot as well. And E speed's going to fly here. And I think Incineroar should be able to soak, right? Yeah, thank you, Incineroar. It's a big time soak for you. And you have the Citrus Berry. The good old berry. The good old Munch Munch. So he munches down, he goes back up to about half HP. Body press now comes over the top here, doing some nice lovely damage. And on top of that, knockoff's gonna fly, bop, and KO him. Okay, so see you later, and take get on out of here. Get on out my face. So now we're sitting here with an intimidated Shen Pao, which is pretty big for us. It's pretty big. And it was choice bait. That's why I want to take off its item. Then Terrasalize and really did him dirty. So let's see who they go into from here. Maybe Metagross? No, it's going to be Walking Awake. So Walking Wakes here has Dragon Moves, Fire Moves. Okay. Nothing I'm too worried about here. I could just go Draco Meteor. That's probably... Am I better off going Draco Meteor and just ripping this thing down? I could Terrasalize here and then go Draco Meteor. Because it probably has Draco Meteor itself. That's more so what I'm thinking. Because I think Shen Pao is going to attack maybe the Incineroar slot. So I could Terrasalize, go Drake immediately, look to finish this thing off, and then maybe just hard swap into here. Or better yet, you. No, because then Ice Moves really do me dirty. You know what? We're just going to swap into you. We're going to save our Intimidate. And I'm going to hope that Arch Luna can just rip into this thing. So I'm swapping. I'm Terrasalizing as well this turn. I know Grass-type isn't the best considering they have an Ice Move Pokemon over here. But I think if we can use this value to actually get rid of Walking Weak this turn, that could be pretty massive considering Shen Pao is minus one on him. So, I'm cool to Terrasalize. I am cool to Terrasalize. We swapped in Sinor. We can always go back into him, which could, could be good here. And Secret Sword is going to fly in a slot. So, great Terra for us. And we get that Stamina Boost. A nice, lovely Stamina Boost. Flamethrower is coming into this slot, which is weird. Did you read the swap? They, I think they were trying to read the swap. Draco Meteor now flies. It is going to KO the Walking Wake. And now we're sitting here with what's it called? Which is pretty good. Shen Pao being minus one. And Arch Luna ready to just body press. Okay. I like it. I like it. Metagross now comes out for the final Pokemon. We could start intimidating. Bullet Punch could start to fly through. Um, I think I might hard swap into Incineroar. Because they're probably going for an Ice move. Then I can always fake out. On top of this, I can just drop a close combat. Yeah, I'm just gonna close combat the Shen Pao. I am just close combating the Shen Pao. Cool, so they use Terror already. We're swapping into Incineroar just so we can have Fake Out next turn and we can keep our Arch Loot on alive for a little bit. We kind of just go from there. I like it. I like it a lot. I like how we've been playing. I like how we've been playing. So we get the Arch Loot on swap coming in hot. And we're going to put Incineroar, or not Incineroar, Shen Pao, minus two for the rest of the match. Cool. Cool. And we have Fake Out next turn. A little bit of Fake Out next turn. So Ice Spinner's going to fly in here. Great swap for us. We're able to soak that, no problem. Close Combat's going to be able to fly there. Bop, you down to Focus Ash. And as long as Metagross doesn't KO, we can just uh, go into an Aqua Jet next turn and finish that thing off. Even if it protects. Even if it protects. So let's see. Psychic Fangs come down here, and that's going to KO me. I end up getting dropped by that. I still have... I could fake out this turn. 
I got Archer Loot on ready to go. I got you who's ready to go. That's pretty good. Um Yeah, we might as well do it, right? We might as well go into you. We might as well fake out the Shen Pao slot. They could double protect. Double protect would probably be their best bet. Double protect would probably be their best bet. But they might not even protect this turn because we bet it the last one. So I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna pop a Earth Power, right? Yeah, it's just Earth Power. This meta goes down. Just in case they don't protect. Just in case they don't protect. We don't have to worry about Terror here. They got great typing against us, but I like his Shen Pao being minus too, right? It's just big time for us. So we're gonna hope that Shen Pao just doesn't protect. Because we made the read last time. So they're probably thinking we're gonna make the read again. And they end up just protecting Shen Pao. So smart play for them just to keep that Shen Pao alive. Earth Power is now just going to fly into this Metagross slot. And this might be able to KO. It's Stab. It's super effective. We're Life Orb and Sheer Force on top of that. And it brings it down to one, which kind of sucks. But it's good to know that we outspeed it. Stopping Tantrum comes across here. And okay, we go one for one. We go one for one, which is pretty big. Which is pretty big. So he can Bullet Punch me. He can also go into... You can also go into a, what's it called? An Ice Spinner. But I think Lando eats up, right? I think Lando eats up. That's what's so big about this. So, Bullet Punch comes to the rear. He's going for the Ice Spinner. So, I think as long as he doesn't get a crit, we should win this match, right? Minus two. I get it's four times super effective, but you're minus two. You are minus two. Ice Spinner coming out here. You're minus two. Do not KO me. It KO'd me. It KO'd me. And now I don't I don't like this. Now I don't like this. Hold up. <laughs> I don't like this, man. I don't have my stamina boost. I don't have my stamina boost. No way we lose this. No way we lose this. I died to that ice spinner. You're minus two. That's some damage. That's some damage right there. Um, I think you have to go, but we gotta hope that he doesn't protect Shen Pao. I don't think he does, but I'm still gonna attack it. Do not protect the Shen Pao. Do not protect the Shen Pao. You could have Ice Punch, which could be annoying. I don't think you do, though. Ice Spinner's gonna come out here. How much did we soak this? A lot of damage. We do get a defense boost. We do get a defense boost, which is I do outspeed the Metagross, which is massive. Now I'm plus one on defense. Now, as long as you don't have Ice Punch, we should be fine. If Psychic Fangs. And, oh, oh. We outspeed. I don't think Bull Punch KOs me. I don't think Bull Punch KOs me, right? We outspeed you. We just need to soak up a Bull Punch. Love you, Arch. Yo, Arch Luna clutching up, man. Just clutching up. So good. Our opponent played good at the end there. Bringing it to a 3 HP battle, but Arch Lula with the bulky stamina ability clutching up for us. This Arch Ludon team is absolutely insane. We're sitting 15 and 4 in regulation app. Hopefully, you guys are still enjoying the content. We're playing some good battles. Plus, my commentary's been fire. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, but we're versing 733. Looking to go 3 0, which would be awesome. And we're going up against Scissor, Shen Pao. And Entei. So we just first Entei. That one gave us a little bit of a problem towards the end, especially. I did not think that that Ice Spinner would KO my Lando. And that became a big problem. That became a big problem <clears throat> when it KO'd my Lando. I was like, okay, you're minus two, you're not KOing. And then they still did it. But let's focus on this third match. We're 2 0. They got Ogre Pond as well. They got actually three first turn priority Pokemon. So Indeedy would have been beautiful here, but we don't have it. So I'm worried about Calm Mind setup. That could be an issue. They do have Thunderclap. They got all that good stuff. But I think going into Pokemon like Archaludon is really solid for us. And setting the rain maybe turn one and just attacking could also be big for us. Could also be big. So I'm going to go into both of these guys. Um, I could bring in an Intimidate user. Is that going to be any good? Maybe not really. I do like having Rillaboom here. And last but not least, probably Urshfu if I am going to set up the rain. It just looks to be our best bet. They probably bring in Ogre Palm, which is a slight threat, but I feel as if we're not choice, so I can always go into just close combats and Ogre I just gotta watch out for the swap of the Ogre Because Water Absorb, big time threat to Urshfu. But I like this squad. I do like this squad that we're going in with. Um, 
and we're hoping that we could just stay hot 15 and 4 that's amazing and actually we should be 15 and 3 if you guys watched my videos on the regular a couple videos ago we disconnected and it gave me my first loss on the regulation f ladder so it was kind of annoying it was definitely kind of annoying but we'll see we'll see how this one plays out we shall see do 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 all right let's check it out let's check it out what you got what you got cooking ente and lando okay ente lando come out here um a little bit of a threat we'll probably have to terrestrialize and just attack ente most likely right i don't like terrestrializing the grass but i think we have to especially with the ground moves ready to go I could just electro shot Entei, to be honest with you. Or I could just start attacking. Entei's just a big threat. The ground moves are a big threat, too. I could hard swap. Um, I could maybe just hard swap in the robot, but I'd rather get off a turn here, to be honest with you guys. I'd rather get off a turn here, so I'm just going to Terrasalize, and I'm just going to Draco Meteor this Entei slot. Actually, we're going to... Terrasalize, Draco Meter, you. And we are just going to paralyze. I want to paralyze the Entei. Hopefully, it still does it. But I end up Terrasalizing here. Ran out of time, which kind of sucks, man. Kind of sucks. But at least I get this Terra turn and I could try to get off this Draco Meter here. Which could be lovely. I could see a Terra from Entei as well. And they just end up protecting Lando. Oh, man, that hurts. That hurts. Watch, my Thunder Wave's gonna go in that slot as well. No, it does go into Ente. Cool, so it does exactly what I wanted it to do. That's massive. But Thunder Wave that. Draco Meteor's gonna get blocked, so everything that I wanted to do actually worked out fine. And Ente, what are you going for? Take your fire into this slot. Okay, that's fine. We still pretty well. And of course, you get the burn. So burn comes out here. Mm, kind of annoying. We do slow you down, so it could start start Draco Meteor. It's Entei. See how much damage we could possibly do to that. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that. And on top of that, I am just going to go into... The Wild Bolt Storm. Of course, it could start Eerie Impulse. In. Or I could set up a Rain Dance, which could be good. Eerie Impulse will work on this thing, though. So I am going to probably just Eerie Impulse him. Right? I'm almost positive this works on him. But I might just set up this Rain Dance just to deal with these Sacred Fires. Actually, let's go Rain Dance. Let's go Electro Shot here. That's what we're gonna do. Rain Dance, Electro Shot. Hopefully, Entei could just be paralyzed this turn. No, we're just gonna E Speed. Okay, that's fine. So, E Speed and probably Sludge Bomb comes out here. Yeah, that's kind of looking scary. I'm probably gonna do this. E Speed, Sludge Bomb. Yeah. My boy soaks. My boy soaks. <laughs> My boy soaks. It's a big time soak for us. Electro shot gonna come out here. Um, I don't mind this. We do have lovely Earth from the back, and we're hoping Ogre Pond's not ready to go. I end up Electro shot and doing some decent amount of damage, but I think it's kind of bulky. That ends up happening. Um, we could hard swap maybe into. What's your speed? Do we really need you for the back end, or do we just let you die? We could kind of just let you die here. We know the E speed's coming out here. Maybe it might be paralyzed for this turn and we get off a turn, which would be huge. And at this point, I'd rather just Drake a meteor this and then just go into an eerie impulse into the slot. Yeah, I'm cool with this. I'm almost positive eerie impulse works on. I get he's ground this is an electric move, but it's not attacking, and I'm almost positive I've seen it happen before, right? It ends up with on Entei. Not bad, not bad. As long as we outspeed. Or as long as he's not going after me, that could be good. What are you gonna go into? You're gonna go into the bolt. Rage of Bolt comes out here. And yeah, Eerie Impulse does work on you. Get it on out of here. Minus two. Now this thing's minus two. And he's gonna set up a substitute. Okay, I have Draco Meteor flying in that slot. I wish I. Oh no, wait. Did I go in the Entei slot? I did. Okay, huge, huge. Rage of Bolt comes in here. And we just take it out. That's big. That's big time for us to actually pick up a KO there and get some value out of Arch Ludon. So now Landorus is minus two. Um. From here, I kind of want to try to get rid of that that substitute. It's just ugly, right? They're going to go back in an thing. Maybe they're paralyzed this turn, and again, we can get off another big-time move. 
So from here, I think body press is actually our better option. And I think I'd rather just body press you. For, actually, no, it's just an MK. And just go for a Wild Bolt Storm, I guess. I guess. Maybe he Terrasilized Lando, you never know. But I got off, got off a Paralyze, I got off an Eerie Impulse. He might end up swapping the sub pill. B minus two? I wouldn't like that. I would not like that at all. I would not like that at all. But Sheer Force, I'm pretty sure, doesn't take away any of the drops. It just... Yeah. Oh, and taste Paralyze. Yo, this is exactly what we wanted. Everything's working out great for us. Paralyze comes out here. He does end up still Sludge Bombing. My Arch Ludon. So, smart call on his end. He's going to finish me off. And from here... This is where we just go into Urshifu, right? I love Urshifu. I really do like Urshifu here. Wall Bolt Storm going to come through here. Doesn't affect the Lando. And it's going to deal some damage on him. But this is where I go into my... My what's it called? My Urshifu. Because now I can just drop Surgeon Strikes. And I think it's going to work really well for us. And then I can save my... Uh, oh, you could hard swap. Are you going to hard swap? You could. You could hard swap an Ogre Pond. But I feel like Shen Pao is a back-end Pokemon. Especially with Entei on the field. And I mean, in that case, we just go for a Wild Bolt Storm here as well. Okay, so let's see. They could protect the Lando if they do. We hit through it. But I'm just hoping Ogre Pond isn't here in the back-end, right? And I doubt it, though. I really do doubt it. Because you bring an Entei by itself... I don't know. I just don't see that happen. I just don't see that happen. I see I see Shen Pao being the back end Pokemon, which I kind of mind, don't really mind. I have Real Boom in the back end, and yeah, he's just going for Sludge Bombs here. So Sludge Bomb flying here. Not doing anything crazy. Entei's probably going for, I don't even know, but Surgeon Strikes should take off the sub this first hit, right? Should take it off. Yes, and now we should be able to get rid of this landing, which is massive. So Lando getting ripped up on. Oh my lord, that did so much damage. <laughs> we just take it out. We just take it out. So now Entei is going for... I don't even know what you're going for. What are you going for, Entei? I don't even know, but Wobble Storm coming in here. Bringing it down to 1 HP. I could Aqua Jet and finish that off. Sacred Fire is going to come through here, and that's really not doing anything. I think he's just looking for the burn. And he's getting the burns, man. He's getting the burns. So from here, their final Pokemon. I'm really curious to see who it is. More than curious to see who this is. And I think I just paralyze it, right? Whoever it is, I just paralyze it. Shen Pao. It is Shen Pao. So Shen Pao comes out here. I'm going to have to throw a nice little paralyze on that thing. And I'm going to have to Aqua Jet this Entei. So I'll go Aqua Jet onto the Entei. Look to finish that off. And then just go into a Thunder Wave. And actually, E Speed might come out before Thunder Wave, which is annoying. Yo, E speed with the priority. Really annoying. So annoying. But I do have a paralyze on that day. Maybe we might come in clutch with the paralyze yet again. So it ends up dropping a nice little terror type for the Shen Pao, which actually okay for us. Oh, Entei gets a terror type. Entei going into that normal terror type. So they're using it for the damage boost. Hopefully they go after Earth because we hmm, I don't actually don't think we soaked that up. Let's see. E speed coming in here. Who are you going after? Yeah, you're going after him. And I survived. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Sucker Punch going after my... Oh my god, it goes after my... Uh, my Thunderous. They don't double down into my Urshru. And then Aqua Jet comes through, finishes this off. We're going to now paralyze him. We miss our paralyze. Lovely. Oh wait, it doesn't affect him. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. He's dark type. He's a dark type. I forgot. So burn KOs me. And wow, this match is actually coming down to it. This match is actually coming down to it. This match is actually coming down to it. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. So now I get to bring out you. I get fake out this turn, which is pretty big. And I don't know why I went for the Thunder Wave. Yo, this match is coming down to it. If he, if he allows me to fake out this turn, we have a shot. To be honest, I don't know. This is this is tough. So grassy guy, or not grassy guy? We're gonna fake out here. We're just gonna go for a wild bolt storm. And hopefully he just doesn't protect you, right? He does protect. Tough news. So next turn, the burn is gonna take me out. Can somehow real boom soak up a shot? Even if it does, sucker punch would then come out beforehand. 
Oh my lord. This is crazy. This is a crazy matchup. So I take my burn damage. I get grassy guy cooking. Do I go for a wood hammer this turn? Do I go for a wood hammer this turn? I think I do. No, because I take recoil. We're just going to go for a grassy glide here. Grassy glide, wild bolt storm. Let's see what he ends up choosing to do. Let's see what he ends up choosing to do here. Grassy glide flies in here. Doing some nice big time damage. Ice spinner comes in hot here. Can we soak this? We don't. Can wild bolt storm pick up the KO? That's the real question here. I don't think it can. I don't think it can. And I have a weird feeling we're missing it anyway. Told you. So I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. I don't think it was KOing, but Shen Pao definitely clutched enough for them. We go 2 and 1 for today's video. Still killing it on the regulation F ladder. Here is our final rank for today. We're sitting at 15 and 5 at 1372 in the master tier. Until next time. We'll check her rank out later. But we're going to give you guys one last look at this team that we used to. Absolutely loved it. Had a hot chance of going 3 0. But I feel like I kind of played a little weird in match number three. Definitely not as good as I played in match number one and in match number two. And it shows. We ended up losing that match. But Archer Ludon, huge threat in today's video. And I absolutely loved using it. Pairing it up with Urshfu and the Rain Thunderous. It's always a big problem. You got Landers, you got Incineroar, Roboom. Just amazing all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my regulation F content goes live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.